Hello, and welcome back to episode 50 of our Oxygen Not Included Let's Play series. I'm just checking out our little slicksters down here. They're all nice and happy. This is a pretty high priority. This is a reasonably high priority. We just need to get oxygen into here. Yeah, all right. And we are going to snap up eggs that drop from here, put them into here, grow our slickster ranch. Uh, tame, groomed, happy, everything looking good. Yeah. All right. We want to start thinking about setting up a second slickster ranch somewhere here. Anywhere here is fine, really. Um, I think to do that, we're going to want to expand out these uh, these Atmo suit docks and, and things of that sort. We'll ultimately want a, a, a more permanent solution here. So for now, this kind of the setup is a little bit ghetto, but it's it's good enough. Um, we're gonna have some wild slicksters down here for the moment. Yeah, I think things are fine. Are these guys cramped yet? No. I'm not even sure they really get that cramped. Even if they get cramped, it's not that big of a deal. It just means that we won't be getting as many slicksters. Okay. So we are clearing out this area up here. We've already basically pumped out half of it. Uh, we're pumping out the rest. And as soon as we've kind of gotten rid of a lot of the chlorine in this area, we are going to start uh, digging our way up. Start digging our way up and uh, push out into space. That's, that's the end goal here. I like doing it along this little area right here because it means we're going to have a straight shot right from the middle of our base up to where our space base is going to be. Let's go ahead and dig out these areas just to improve the airflow. We have tons of oxygen. Tons of oxygen. We're, we are awash in oxygen in this base. Um, we have CO2 in the areas that we want for these, these dust caps, um, but basically everything else is, is exactly how we like it. We're pumping out oxygen from here, which is why it's a little bit, right, we're pumping it down to these, these docks. Um, but we have oxygen generation here, which is going smoothly. You need to worry a little bit about the temperature. Without these uh, cool slush geysers going, it starts to heat up pretty significantly. But, all right, on to the more important things, which is digging out through here. We're gonna have a little bit ways to go, but we're very close. Okay. Decline to use this area, but maybe we should get to this neural vast later. Wouldn't be a bad idea. No germs up here, uh, because the temperature is cold enough. Yeah, let's make our way up. Uh, and assign someone to this neural vast later. We've used every other one that we found, right? Yeah. Once we get into space, we can start recharging these neural vast laters. And getting more of our dupes up to spec, but no fossil. Needs more fossil, huh? Do we have any... Mm, there's this area here. About to say, is there like a great area for fossil? Probably not. Okay, new duplicates available. What do we have? Nothing that we care about. Off they go. Most of our food is coming from fried mushrooms at this point. They are the the major food stuff because we have these big, uh, big farms, and we have tons of slime. Most of it, not most of it, but a lot of it right here. Um, a lot of germs in the slime, though. Well, that's that big of a deal. I don't have any polluted oxygen really anywhere significant at my base, so I'm not going to deal with that. So much coolant. So much coolant. Just a big stockpile of it. I don't know what I want to do with that yet, either. Maybe we just want a little bit more permanent solution for this incubator. Having people, having a guy using up a suit to, to run on this generator is a little bit inefficient. But I think, I think we're just set. I don't think we even really care too much here. This is CO2. What is going on? 
Okay, this is filled up with CO2 just because it hasn't had a chance to, to pop out yet. And 29 degrees. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else I want here? We could streamline some of this area to for collecting of sleet wheat. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Um, let's just grab the wart seeds and stick them somewhere. Only one left. All right. How are we doing over here? This is pretty close to vacuum. We're going to let it run a little bit longer. Pump out all this chlorine. And that way we don't have it mix in with our base. Tons of slime for this. I think we're good on food. We're good on oxygen. Temperature-wise, we're actually a little bit too cold. I'm starting to get these little cold pockets here. I think we want to move some of our, our warts as a result. Start making some of this area temperate. Seems like a good idea. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and furniture, flower pots. Let's just set up a little, a couple more of these bad boys right here. And in the cold areas, areas of our base, we'll just get rid of the uh, the stuff we have there. Uh, we don't have any. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're gonna stop auto wrangling surplus. We don't have anything to do with them yet. We could set up another hatch ranch to improve our coal production. We're back up to 20 tons after uh, after our last coal digging foray. Yeah, we're just we're getting cramped up here. More hatch ranches would be nice. Still pumping. Still getting there. A little bit longer. Okay. Do we want to increase our Slickster Ranch setup here? Wouldn't hurt. We do just want to dig out some more fossil. That is definitely something we want to do. Get ourselves a little bit more steel. And maybe now is the time to just crack into, into this crude oil reservoir right here. So let's try digging out this and this. Yeah, I think this is a good plan. We'll dig out this fossil uh, over here to provide the lime for our steel production. And uh, other than that, we are just going to let this oil fall and replenish our stocks up here. We still have a lot left, but we don't want to run out. still want to be producing a ton of plastic. Eventually, we're going to be using a lot of it for our vacuum tubes and plastic ladders and all this sort of stuff. Okay. This is getting low enough now. That we're going to start considering just cracking in. In fact, I think we will. So, we are going to uh, disable this building, since we don't really need it to be running at the moment. And we are going to start laddering our way the rest of the way up here. get all the way here. And once we crack into here and uh, find a place to put this bleach stone, we'll just like set up a little, we'll probably set up a, a little drop point over here. That actually sounds fine. Let's uh, ladder, make that igneous rock because I don't really care. We're going to uproot. We are going to igneous rock, ladder our way cross like this. This is vacuum, that's fine. And we are going to, yeah. This is how we're going to do it, I think. Start laddering our way up. Um, make it out of granite so it's nice and uh, looking good. And we will ladder our way down here and we'll just set up a uh, little storage point for our for our bleach stone. And then we're going to be running this pump, but uh, we are going to start filtering out uh, oxygen and just letting it pump back into this room. So, let's uh, get that set up, I suppose. Ventilation, gas filter, because we don't want to be pumping out oxygen, ultimately. 
Oh, no. Oops. Uh, ventilation. Gas filter. Let's rotate this around. Yeah, we're going to set it up pretty much right here, I think. So, deconstruct. Deconstruct. Ventilation. Gas filter. Like so. And we will gas pipe igneous rock like this. And I think we can reach here. And we'll just set up a gas vent right here for now. And so the chlorine will fall. Uh, some of it will fall down here and mix with our base, but hopefully not too much. And any oxygen that gets in here, we'll just pump back up here. And we're going to tap into here, pump out this chlorine as well. But as we as we get this stuff down, we are going to... Uh, as we uh, uh, get get all this chlorine and bleach stone mined out of here and bring it down, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fill up in here, ultimately. And that's going to be... That's going to be uh, where the chlorine settles. And then this pump is going to be able to pump it out. All right. Wiring. We'll need to wire this up now. No big issue. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and dig out the rest of this. Uh, whoops. Don't want to uproot those. And yeah, good to go. Okay. Slickster Ranch, how's that doing? Are these guys cramped yet? Tiny baby cramped. Okay, so they are cramped, and we're going to want to start moving them. Which means we want to uh, move this incubator, ultimately. Huh. Where do we want to set these guys up? Well, let's uh, also just dig out this area. That's going to be another order that we want done. Yeah, I think we just want to dig out another little setup right here. I think that is the plan. Dig out all this. Uh, igneous rock, sure. And just we're just gonna make another little area right here. Um, Yeah, we're going to take this ladder, and we are going to deconstruct, and we're going to take this ladder and deconstruct, and we will set up, well, we'll just let them dig it out, but um, we're going to set up another, another ranch down here. Temperature-wise, we're fine. Uh, what is the temperature range for Slicksters again? Let me check my database. Critters. Slickster. Fifty degrees to one hundred forty degrees, and then if we happen to get molten slicksters, they're going to want ninety degrees. So our Molten Slicksters will need to be put somewhere else if we get any. I don't see any at the moment. And the long hair Slicksters we can potentially um, put up in our base for decor purposes. It's not hugely important. Uh, no, let's, let's not dig up these right away. We'll dig them out in a bit. Okay. All set. How are we doing up here? This is slowly coming along, sure. This is going to be fairly high priority. Is bleepstone? No. Um, consumable ore? What is bleepstone? 
Um, raw minimal? I don't know. I do not know what bleep stone counts as. So as we dig it up, we'll need to uh, to work on that. All right. This is oxygen at the moment. That's fine. Let's dig in. Well, let's not dig in through here yet. We'll dig, we'll dig up through here first. These are unreachable. All right. I feared that might be the case. Set up a little scaffolding ladder here. Filtered. Filtered element is chlorine. This is all powered up. Sure. All right. Um, we don't need to enable this building. We'll just use power at the moment. Get all this set up. Okay. Perfect. Getting all that built. How are we doing down here? Slowly getting it done. Yeah, we kind of want to set up another atmosphere dock. Although I, I, I want to reposition these. I want them basically down here in this area. We're not scalding in this area yet, but I, I think this is going to be... Like, we'll just set up a line across the map of temperate zone. Just let the temperatures from here mix. We'll want to pump out this polluted water at some point. Yeah, this is starting to heat up. We're not going to run this anymore. I'm just going to let it go for a bit. Back up here. Looking good. Yeah, let's improve this priority a bit. And we might as well just start digging in. We've already got everything set up how we like it. Uh, granite, please. Cool. And then we're going to designate all of this bleach stone to be dug out. Jobs mastered. May, congratulations. You are moving up. Um, yeah, we're going to put you on courier. Still just a very important skill to have. Yeah, here we go. Consumable ore, definitely not agriculture, it's not soil, it's not filtration medium. Liquefiable, not really. Maybe it's just not showing up because there's none of it currently available on the map. I can believe that. So once we dig some out, it'll show up. Let's put things back on high speed. Nothing really worrisome that I need to keep an eye on. Might as well pump the speed back up. Okay. How are we doing over here? Perfect. All right. Um, let's go ahead and dig out here and here, and we will set up base mesh tile. We want to make it out of gold amalgam? We don't really have to. Set up out of iron ore. It's possible it comes back to bite us, but probably not. And just set up our mesh here, and set up insulated tile, igneous rock, should be good enough for now. Like so. And we'll build a door. Like so. And we should be off to the races. Oh no, well this looks just doomed now. Some of it overflowed here, and now he's... This is exactly what I'm talking about with them getting stuck in this animation. Um, I don't think there's a way to get him out of here. 
<sighs> well, that's one Slickster down. We're breeding more though, so it's not. This wasn't. This isn't the last Slickster on our map, which was originally what we thought. Maybe we can try and save him. This poor guy. But this is what I'm talking about. Just a little bit of oil when it falls on them, they get stuck in this drowning animation and they never come out, and they just die like this. They don't lay. They don't lay eggs. They don't do anything. Um, it's it's the end of them. So. We're replenishing our oil reservoir down here and uh, killing a slickster in the process. I'm sorry, little buddy. To be honest, though, we cared a lot more about you when we thought you were the last slickster in the planet. Uh, now that you aren't, I am, I'm being a little bit cavalier with your life here. To be fair, if you were a little bit smarter, though, this wouldn't be an issue, right? Okay. So, is this consumable ore? Um, it is. Okay, bleach stone. We want all the bleach stone in there. New duplicate available. What do we got? Nope. Yeah, move all the bleach stone down here. And then as this chlorine kind of comes down here, um, It'll fill up here, and uh, we'll pump it out. A little bit of polluted water to worry about as well, but I think we're actually fine just digging out through here. So let's continue on. It's not enough polluted water that we can't just mop it up. Yes, looking good, looking good. We're delivering all the bleach stone here, so the chlorine will generate here, and just auto-settle, basically. And then once we kind of get enough chlorine here, we're, uh, we're going to start this pump back up again. We're going to get, again, a little bit of it falling down into our base. This is carbon dioxide, this is chlorine. Yeah, so we see a little bit of chlorine coming down here. That we can't really avoid. But it won't be a ton. Uh, I'll be. I think we'll be fine with it. It'll slowly make its way down, and uh, I guess we worry that it'll settle here, and that'll be a little bit problematic. We'll deal with that when that happens. We have so many fried mushrooms at this point that I'm not super worried. But yeah. So okay. Plan. We're gonna dig out through here. Going to dig out through here, make our way to space, and uh, see if we can't set ourselves up a nice little research facility, scanner, solar power, all that jazz. As we approach space, I think the other thing to consider is that we want to get our glass generation up on online. We don't really have the coolant for it right now, although I could I suppose we could just use this. Yeah, I mean, we do have a lot of coolant, we just haven't set up a convenient way to tap into it at the moment. These poor guys are cramped. Glum. We don't want that to happen. We want them to run run wild and free. Set this to four critters. Because I think that's the limit for this place. And we're going to move this incubator eventually. Probably just right over to here. Did we save him? Fallen. Well, we saved the Slickster. Um, we're going to melt this plastic, though, which is going to be a little bit unfortunate. But we did save the guy. We saved, we saved the Slickster, 
But, uh, lost the plastic. That's not a big deal. I think I'd rather have the Slickster. And now it's just a matter of expanding out this area. Making ourselves a new Slickster Ranch. We should be good to go. Okay, I'm going to cut things here, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.